What's up everyone and welcome back to the AG Chelsea TV, today let's get started with. Levi Colwell outperformed every under, 21 player in the Premier League, one Chelsea youngster has been turning heads on the pitch this season, and this has now been replicated by the statistics. It has now emerged that defender Levi Colwell is statistically the best performing under, 21 player in the Premier League this season, according to who scored. Colwell is enjoying a strong debut season as a member of the first team at Stamford Bridge, and has quickly established himself as an important member of the starting squad under Mauricio Pochettino. This is despite a large portion of his appearances coming in a position he wouldn't really call his natural one. Romano gives Chelsea fans exciting transfer update. Fabrizio Romano has given Chelsea fans a positive update as we approach the final couple of days of the January transfer window, he said, Chelsea are always a club to look out for in general for the final days. It was a quiet window for them, not just in the final days of the market, but I still believe that Chelsea are closely monitoring some opportunities, but they could stay with the same squad if they believe he is not the right player. For example, Duran at Aston Villa was a player Chelsea considered internally, but they never made a bid. Mauricio Pochettino confirms triple Chelsea boost. Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino has given an update on the fitness of his Blues squad ahead of the Premier League clash against Liverpool at Anfield on Wednesday night. I think it's good news that Malo Gusto and Christoph can be in the squad tomorrow. Pochettino said. We will see. Always we are waiting for the last moment. At the moment, it's good news. Maybe why not Nico Jackson can be involved tomorrow if he arrives. It's bad news for Levi Colwell. However, no, Levi is out, the former Tottenham boss said. He suffered a minor injury on his tendon. Not a big issue, but he is out tomorrow. Chelsea in talks to sign Jonathan David, report from Fitches has claimed that Chelsea have opened talks to sign Jonathan David from League One club LOSC Lille. The 24-year-old striker is likely to cost around €40 million, Euros. he has 11 goals and 6 assists to his name across all competitions this season. His contract expires in the summer of 2025, and Chelsea should look to take advantage of this situation and sign him for a reasonable price soon. Lille will be under pressure to cash in on the player at the end of the season if he does not sign a new contract with them. The 24-year-old will look to take the next step in his development, and a move to Chelsea would be a massive opportunity for him. Chelsea predicted lineup versus Liverpool. Goalkeeper, Dor Petrovic, Robert Sanchez remains out injured, but Petrovic could keep his place as Chelsea's number one for the rest of the season. Right back, Axel de Saisai, the World Cup runner-up could return to a right-back role on Wednesday and match up against Luis Diaz or Diogo Jota down Liverpool's left, centre-back, Thiago Silva. The veteran doesn't do breathers. He played the entirety of Chelsea's stalemate with Aston Villa on Friday, and he should get another 90 under his belt on Wednesday. Centre-back, Benoit Badiashile, Levi Colwell is out injured so we could see Badiashile, who started at left-back last time out, moved into a central position. Left-back, Ben Chilwell, Pochettino is carefully managing Chilwell's minutes following his return from injury, but he's a shoe in to start on Wednesday. He'll be looking to exploit the space vacated by Trent Alexander-Arnold's inversion into midfield, centre mid, Moises Caicedo, the Ecuadorian star was excellent against Villa and his dual winning capacity will be key to relieving pressure and starting transitions at Anfield, centre mid, Enzo Fernandez. Conor Gallagher is unlikely to start given the doubts surrounding his future. Fernandez, who was all but guaranteed his spot in the first 11 regardless, will likely get the nod. Tack mid, Cole Palmer, Chelsea's final third protagonist will need to produce another efficient showing if the Blues are to secure a memorable victory. Right wing, Noni Maduke, it's been a quiet couple of outings for Maduke following a bright run of form, but Pochettino should stick with the winger on Wednesday. Striker, Armando Broja, Nicholas Jackson should be back in the starting 11 at the weekend following Senegal's Afghan exit, so Broja may only have one more chance to impress as Chelsea's starting striker. Raheem Sterling, can Pochettino trust Mikhailo Mudrik away at Liverpool? While Sterling is far from a cold-blooded killer in front of goal, he's a better option down the left flank than the Ukrainian. Conor Gallagher has no desire to leave Chelsea. Conor Gallagher is reportedly reluctant to entertain the possibility of leaving Chelsea in January. The academy graduate is currently in his second full season representing the Blues, his first campaign having been indifferent after spells in and out of the side, under Mauricio Pochettino, though, 
Gallagher has been the most used player in the squad and has been handed the captain's armband on numerous occasions. In total, the 23-year-old has 25 starts and three substitute outings to his name in all competitions, yet it has been widely reported that co-owners Todd Burley and Clear Lake Capital are happy to sell Gallagher for the right price. That is a consequence of over £1 billion being spent across three transfer windows and Gallagher having just under 18 months remaining on his contract. There has been every indication that Gallagher would prefer to sign fresh terms as soon as possible, yet there have been few signs that any progress has been made of all the clubs interested in Gallagher. Tottenham Hotspur are allegedly viewed as the most likely destination, a result of Angie Postacogla wanting to continue to freshen up his squad. According to the Evening Standard, Gallagher is unlikely to be tempted into leaving Chelsea over the next three days. The England international is focused on trying to help Chelsea move up the Premier League table and earn a return to Europe, as well as win next month's EFL Cup final against Liverpool. Furthermore, Spurs will not be in a position to sign Gallagher unless they are able to cash in on Pierre-Emile Hudjerg before Thursday's deadline. The Denmark international's lawyer has already insisted this week that Hudjerg plans to see out the season at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. As per the report, Chelsea would prefer to cash in on either Trevo Chalabar or Armando Broja, also academy graduates, than part ways with Gallagher. Nevertheless, neither player is yet to attract the kind of proposal that Burley and Clear Lake are demanding, the best-case scenario seemingly being a loan with an obligation to buy in the summer. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.